Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm back with another look for you today. Um, basically, it's going to be a, a really simple gold everyday wearable smoky eye. I recently posted on my Facebook asking you ladies what kind of looks you would like me to do for my YouTube videos, and um, you all came back with me uh, to came back to me with um, requests for neutrals, everyday wearable looks like to office and um, and also um, colors for neutral colors for um, darker women. So um, this look that I did today can be worn on any skin tone, no matter how fair or how dark you are. You you will be able to pull off these colors. Really simple. Um, I only did like three four steps, and even the eyeliner method that I use today is super simple. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be a pro to do your eyeliner. Okay, I also featured my uh, everyday um, foundation routine, foundation and concealer routine. So, um, if you want to know how I got this look, stay tuned. So the first thing I'm going to do to begin is I'm going to apply my cream eyeshadow as my um, primer. This is from Stila and it's called Taffy. If you have the um, Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, you can use that as well. Okay, and next I'm going to do my highlight. So for everyday, I like to use, for everyday looks, I like to use something that's matte, as in for my highlight. <coughs> you can use whatever you have. I'm using this by Wet n Wild. It's from one of the palettes, the Color Icon palettes, and I have no idea which one this is. It's just basically a vanilla creamish color. So whatever, and this is a matte one. So whatever you have as your highlight, you can go ahead and use that. Okay, next for my crease color, I'm going for this um, Sigma E40 fluffy blending brush. The reason why I'm using this very fluffy brush is because I don't want the color to be too intense. I want it to be spread out. So I'm going for... <coughs> Okay, so I'm using this color from Inglot for my crease and this is in um, is number 464. Just like a uh, orangey brown with a bit of um, sparkles but the sparkles won't really show up so it doesn't matter. Oh no, my battery is dying. So I'm just going to apply this to the crease. Okay, next for the lid color, I'm going for another Inglot color and this is in 419. Okay, it looks very olive green but when you actually apply it, it looks very, it's um, very gold, like an antique gold. So anything that you have similar to this. So I'm using a fluffy brush to apply this all over the lid. Okay, next for the outer corner, another Inglot color I'm using. This is just a very matte um, chocolate brown. So whatever that you have similar to this. And this one is in 329. So it's just a very matte chocolate brown. And I'm going for a pencil brush. 
I'm just using this brush to pack on the colour on the outer V. I'm just packing it on there. Creating a V. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going for my 217 by MAC and taking a bit of that colour, the brown colour and I'm just going to blend this out and I'm bringing it into the crease as well Eyeliner, so I'm just going to line my waterline with this um, eye coal, and this is by Avon. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for the top. I'm just going to line my top lash line, and I'm just going to make it thicker on the outer corner and thinner as we go in. Just like so, it doesn't have to be very neat. So we're going to smudge it out. And I'm going for a short um, smudger brush like this. Taking some black. And I'm just going to smudge the top lash line. On the outer corner, I'm just going to flick it upwards, like so. Okay, and then do your mascara. Okay, so my battery totally died and I had to change my camera, so just in case it looks different in the video, um, yeah, I changed my camera. So as for the eyes, uh, we're done for now. Go on to the face. I'm using my um, Sephora face primer. This is the one for oily skin. Okay, I believe there's another one that's like um, a luminizer that you could use that for dry skin. So this is the anti-shine primer. Okay, it says here anti-shine primer. Okay, just very little, like that, for the whole face. And the reason why I'm using this is because this will help my makeup last the whole day. And um especially that I have really oily skin. My skin is really, really bad at this point. I've been having breakouts like nobody's business, so just ignore the fact that my skin is so bad now. Oh, it's really bad. But it's recovering. Okay. So as for my foundation, I'm using this by Inglot and this is their face and body bronzer but you can use this as a foundation as well because it's matte and um, you can see how big this is, it's like almost the size of my hand and it's, uh, it's 150ml, 5 fluid ounce. Okay, that's really really big. The usual, the normal um, foundations, the liquid foundations you buy at the stores are 
fluid out and this is five okay so this is basically a water-based foundation and it's a very sheer coverage so if you're looking for a full coverage foundation this wouldn't be your choice I'm using this for every day because I don't like to have like a whole face full of cakey makeup on an everyday basis. I like to be like natural and I like my skin to show through a bit. So which is why I'm using this one and I'm shaking it thoroughly now. Because it's water based it kind of separates a little bit so you need to make sure you shake it thoroughly and it comes in a pump like this so it's convenient. I use about two pumps. You can build this foundation up to like a medium coverage. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just mixing it with my fingers. And I'm just gonna spread it around. Just to cut my nose ring. Okay, I'm just gonna spread it around my face. Okay, and using my trusty beauty blender, this is the wet one. I mean, I've already wet it. I'm just going to blend the foundation. Sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use a brush. But the reason why I'm showing you this method is because I want you guys to see how easy it is to blend your foundation with this beauty blender. You don't have to be a pro to use this. Anybody can get flawless foundation effect from this. Okay, I'm going to go for a second layer. I'm going to just take another two more pumps. Spread it around the areas where I need a bit more coverage. So I'm basically just pouncing the the blend, beauty blender around my skin okay so you can still see that I have a few blemishes that are showing through so this where this is when your concealer comes in I'm using Max Studio Finish in um, NW35 this is a really good and thick concealer I'll be using this for under eye and um, cover up like a few blemishes that are showing through like my massive one here just a few Okay, and under my eye. I'm just applying the concealer now. I'm not blending just as yet. Okay. Now, just with the beauty blender, I'm just going to blend all that out. Okay, now using the pointy part, I'm going to blend under my eyes. Okay, next I'm going to set everything, all this, with uh, my my favourite Benai Banana Powder. This is the best powder when it comes to setting powders. It makes my makeup last the whole day and it doesn't move. It is there. I can come back home like even after a 12 hour outing or whatever. It's still there. So I'm just going to set this with a 
powder puff. Make sure you set under your eyes as well. Okay, now with, uh, with a powder brush, I'm just going to blend out the excess. Okay, so um, once you're done with setting your foundation, I'm going to continue with the under eye. I'm going back for this chocolate brown from Inglot that we use for the outer corner. And I'm using a flat eyeliner brush like this. Okay, take some of that. And I'm just going to run that on my lower lash line. Okay, and for my inner corner, my tear duct, I'm going to apply this... Um, shimmery colour from Ben Nye. It's called Ice Gold. You can see that. Ice Gold. Okay, this is a Ben Nye colour. It's just like a shimmery gold colour. I'm using that for my inner corners. Okay, next just go ahead and do your brows. I've already done one so I'm just going to continue to do this one. What I use for my brows will be this um, duo from e.l.f. It's just like a light brown um, powder and a wax. So this is what I use for my eyebrows. Okay, that's done. So next you want to apply mascara to your lower lash line as well. I waited to finish my concealer and all, then I can go ahead and do this. For my bronzer, I use this by NYX and it's the matte bronzer. Mine is in dark tan. Okay, it looks like this. So if you don't have a bronzer, just use anything like a powder, foundation or or even an eyeshadow that's like two to three shades darker than your original skin tone. Okay, I'm using this stippling brush and I like using this for my bronzer because it makes it look very airbrushed and natural. Okay, so I'm basically going to apply my bronzer on the hollows of my cheeks which is just right here. If you tilt your head to the side, you will be able to see that natural um, shading of your skin that's here, right under your cheekbones. So it will be here, here and on my forehead, at the sides of my forehead and also on my jawline. So basically you want to apply the bronzer to the to the mm, circumference of your face so that you get some kind of a definition. Okay.
Okay, so just by looking at half of my face, which is with bronzer and without, you can see that this side of the face looks much more natural and looks like it has like a 3D effect compared to here, looks just so flat. Okay, so if you find that that brush is too big for your bronzer, if you have a smaller face, you can always go for a smaller stippling brush and this is from Sigma and it's the F55. Okay, it's, a, it's much more smaller compared to this one. You can always use this, okay? So next, moving on to my blusher. I'm using my favourite Bobbi Brown Soft Pink. Just use whatever blusher that you're comfortable with and um, for blusher brush and I'm applying my blusher to the tops of my cheeks. I'm also blending it slightly with the bronzer. Next for highlight, uh, I'm going for my smaller stippling brush. I use this for my highlight. I'm using this by e.l.f. and it's a highlighting powder. The name is, uh, it doesn't even have a name. Okay, it doesn't really have a name, but it's basically, uh, this reminds me of NARS Albatross. Okay, it's just like a goldish um, shimmery colour. If you don't have this, you can even use the eyeshadow, um, whatever highlighting powder you have. You don't really have to go out and get this, okay? So I'm just using this with my stippling brush, and I'm just going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks. As for me, I have a lot of these open pores around my cheeks, so I don't apply my highlight around this area because this will just make my pores look way much bigger. So which is why I'm applying it right here, right under my eye, and I'm blending it down. Okay? I think the camera is picking it up, but... It's just for me. If you don't have this open pores problem, you can always apply it on your cheeks as well. So what the highlight will do is it will just attract more light to your face on these points and give you that radiant glow. So I'm applying it down my nose and around my chin as well. A bit on my forehead. Okay. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going for a very natural pink colour. And I'm using this Australis lip liner. This is in what's the number? Ooh. Okay, there's no number. Oh yeah, it's tickled pink. It's just like a very nice nude pink. Just use whatever color that is like neutral to your skin tone. Okay, and for the lipstick, I'm going for this NYX lipstick in Paris. Okay, it's basically a soft pink colour.
Okay, I'm just going to mute out that pink a little bit because it seems to be a bit too bright for me. Um, so I'm going to go for a very normal nude um, lipstick and this is Butter from NYX and it's the matte. It's their matte lipsticks. Okay, and it's Butter. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so um, I don't really like to wear lip gloss. I'm not a lip gloss person because I just hate it when my hair gets stuck to my lips when the wind blows. So I usually like to have my lips matte. But if you prefer to have a lip gloss, you may go ahead and apply a lip gloss at this point. So yeah, that's about it. The look is complete. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's useful to you in some way. So keep your requests coming in and I'll really love to um, recreate looks for you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Take care.